Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on. Will. Uh, this is Will. This is Will. Well, I've seen you at a number of these shows now, and I always enjoy seeing you. Because you, you, you always look happy, but you've always you got, got that. You've always got that. We always our eyes connect mm -hmm. in a way that goes, mm -hmm. "We're all screwed." Yeah, I know it. You know, you know and, it. You, and yeah. you, you never, yeah. you never yeah. hang around for long. You, no. you come over, you say hello, and you're like, "Jeff, I got it. You got it. You I got, got it. it." We know what's going on, and then you're off and yeah. out of here. Yeah, that's it. But we know what's going on. We can see it. We saw the picture. Yeah, caught you today yeah. for a little video. Mm -hmm. Because you just knocked on my car and we're like, Jeff, I'm looking so up. I'm looking up, yeah. yeah. It's nice yeah. in here though, because you look up and you oh, just, yeah, just yeah. see my headlining. But three years ago, would you have looked up? I started looking up um, around about, I think it was last year, yeah. when I was YouTubing a lot more. Yeah. So I was out and about a lot more mm -hmm. and I was filming, obviously. Yeah. And when you're filming, you're always conscious of what's going on around you and what the scenery looks like. That's true. And I noticed yeah, yeah, yeah. January last year, yeah. I remember thinking, it's been great every day. Okay. And I know we live in Britain, yeah. right? Yeah. I know there's an element of we yeah, live. Yeah, there's all, all rain again. It's like Britain, you know, it always rains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the rain, yeah. But there's like the next level. And I hate that when people in the comments are like, oh, Jeff, you're just looking Britain. And I'm like, look at it. Look at it. It doesn't look right. Yeah. It's as simple as that. And coming again, coming well, down the motor. They're the then. same ones that say, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you know, they just think everything's quite normal. I, and, they're I, on that, and they're on that level, and they're stuck on that level. They can't see beyond anymore. They don't want to see beyond anymore. Yeah. They don't want to accept that they might just be wrong. I, but I, don't that. I know because yeah. the thing is, people were so invested. Mm -hmm. The C word, right? Which yeah. uh, I'm not. We're not going to go into detail. No, you won't go into detail, but we, we're not we're aware of that. Yeah. This is a different video, by the way. For those of you that caught my earlier videos today, that have been quite technical, this one is much more. I well, mean, you're technical, like. I we should talk about four section of the crossflow engines. What I looked at, and went, wow. The days and everything were just so simple. It was simple, so easy. But this is more of a tin foil yeah, hat conversation. This is simple. It? This is the, like, yeah, it yeah. Is. This is about. We already know the world is a bit of a funny place at times. We already knew it for years. Things weren't quite right. Yeah. But there wasn't enough out there to bother us. We didn't really care. We just got on with yeah. messing about with cars, getting our hands dirty. Yeah, but the thing was as well, broken. mess about the cars, get your hands dirty, and the world still feels like there's going to be something for you in a few yeah, years' time. Yeah, that's it. We all had some hope and future, etc., etc. We all thought, great, doesn't matter. There wasn't anything out there to bother us. Yeah. We always had time to get up. There was always a smile on your face. Was, I'm going to fix my car today, I'm going to do this, and go on holiday, do this, do that, whatever. Yeah. There was not a problem with it. We didn't mind. This new, like, totally bleak outlook but is, is new. But something changed. Something's changed. This changed from, you can put a date on it, you can put a time on it, 2020, surprise, surprise. Mm. And all of a sudden, something didn't quite register. Something wasn't quite wrong. Yeah. And I work out so far due to a certain government place giving numbers out, there's about 18.9 million who know that something ain't right. Yeah. And after that, there's probably quite a few million more that woke up and realised things aren't yeah. quite right. And that's where we're at. Yeah. And whoever's done this, it's backfiring because those 18 million people who were originally all asleep yeah. are now very, very much awake. Have you... And my view is this. Go on. I think that it's backfiring them because the 18.9 million who we know were awake that yeah. awake to not taking doing certain things that other people have done it's awoken them to a lot of other things that aren't right yeah including the skies yeah absolutely and yeah. like i've just been yeah. saying whilst i was sat on my deck chair there reading, yeah. reading my newspaper getting ready for my next video i am not going to and i will not and i and i can't say conclusively what's going on but what i can do is i can wake up in the morning yeah. with my coffee and go that looks weird yeah. And it does look weird. Yeah. And it's looked weird now for but weeks you, and weeks and weeks. Yeah, but there's so much coming at us, not just one thing. I mean, I think that uh, one chap on a certain news place who's from Scotland, Yeah, he said it's like a dying animal thrashing out everywhere. Yeah, it and is. And that's what you got. So much doesn't add up. You don't want farmers to grow food. Well, that's what their job is. Why don't you want farmers to grow food? That doesn't make any sense. Well, we've been forced on us vehicles that are driven by batteries that we don't really want. Was in the in so the I'm going to do in my news story today. The Times is now reporting that Beijing could shut off your electric car. It's yeah, now in the, the newspaper. Paper. Yeah, but go back a year. Oh, but that's a and I was a conspiracy, conspiracy theorist. theorist. Yeah, that's it. it we were out of conspiracy theorists. They're all true. They've all come in true, 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 and that's it. And if and this yeah. is the thing as well. I was on the drive in this morning. So a lot, well, quite a few people have sent me 
You know Mark Sexton? Yes. The retired police officer. I've heard about him, yes. I've mentioned, I've watched him talking about various things. Yeah. He's doing some good work and yeah. he put out a video either yesterday or a couple of days Six ago. Six minutes long video, watch that. This one's 15 minutes and he's talking well. about, and he gives you the crime mm. number. Yep, got that. And he's got, they now have all the evidence yep. that you can that class knew. the big C word, not yeah. cancer, the other one, the other one, as an act of terrorism that has been done to the people. Malfeasance in the public office and murder, wasn't it? But he's, I read a letter somewhere. It's, what he, what he's but saying. But that's out in the public domain. So can we talk about that or not? Uh, it's, it's it tricky is. from a YouTube point of view because I, yeah. I, I find this because people will sometimes comment and be like, "Oh, Jeff, it's good to see that you're finally awake." It's like I've been like this and I know yeah. it all. I've been down all yeah. the rabbit holes. I'm there. Right? Yeah. I do you ever think though, oh I know it all. But how much do we how much is what we actually do not know? Uh, how much is evidence that we do not know about? I think it's still gonna come out. I think um it would blow your brain. I mean the, yeah. th the thing is as well, if you take where we are with being further down the line with knowing stuff, yeah, and then take a friend that you know that doesn't know any of it and try nothing. and sit down with them and explain it, it's like so difficult yeah. to get it across to people. Yeah. And now, particularly with corona people were so invested in what happened mm -hmm. and they and some people thought you know they fondly remember the lockdowns but mm. now the memories are fading the NHS and it's dancing like, around yeah but people have it, forgotten yeah. like yeah. i i will not forget i look, look i'm getting goose pimples just talking about this i will not forget dropping my wife to the supermarket so she could stand in the queue with the rain yeah. in the rain yeah. with all those other people yeah well, and I you look back now and I'm like, I am, and I said this yeah. on the Doc Malik podcast the other day, I am so angry still. So angry. You're angry? I'll give you angry. I told my, both my parents, don't go near this stuff. Yeah. Eight months later, the lives are completely destroyed. Yeah. Gone. My dad's, the, both of them done nothing but bags of bones. And I kid you not, if you took a picture of them seven months ago, look at them now, you wouldn't recognise yeah. them. I'm angry. If I really deep thought about it, I would like to find out who encouraged them to take that stuff inside them, who put it inside them, and I personally feel like coming out and finding them, seeking them out and having words, let's say. I would really like to have words with them, so what the hell do you think you're doing? Because if, if, that, that, if that... If I want yeah. to go to that level, I really could. I've got a friend of mine whose father phoned him up from a hospital in the northwest, saying they're trying to kill me. He said, you're talking about you in an NHS hospital, you should be perfectly looked after. And then he found out later on regarding the um, end of life yeah. care that they instigated, AG163. Yeah. Yeah. And he's absolutely livid. He said, well, if I think about it, he said, I just want to find these people and have words. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a people out there. I mean, there's also a Canadian. Midzalan Matt. Yeah, well, someone's there. In, look, mid, some, someone's in the comments here saying Midzalan Matt. Yeah. It's, um, Midzalan Matt, yeah. Yeah. Midzalan Matt. I mean, there's a, there's a Canadian uh, doctor. Um, on his bloody name, but his bloody name now. But he gets really angry. He says, I am vengeful. Yeah. And I get where he's coming from. Yeah. I am angry or vengeful what these people have done. Well, again, this, this yeah. is what I said on the. If you haven't watched my interview with mm. Doc Malik, you should go and watch that because it is good. I've watched but, personally to the rest of it. What, <laughs> I'm very sorry. But no, no, but the thing yeah. is that what I was saying on there is we had a real, we had a great lockdown. Life, life was great. Yeah. You know, it was sunny. We had a nice little house near yeah. the parks, but like, I'm still. <laughs> So, uh, so livid about it all. Well, we sort of. I had a friend of mine who worked in a government office. Yeah. That sort of. Um, let's say the coroner's office. Yeah. And I asked her at the very beginning, what you're seeing? She said, we're being lied to. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Keep you posted. And when the. Uh, oh, was, uh, what was it? Richard Bob said it. Medical intervention came out. Yeah. Uh, she advised me that we are being lied to again. Yeah. And she was seeing figures of people passing away that shouldn't be passing away are passing away yeah i'm just skating over the facts here, yeah, yeah just yeah. in case YouTube uh, guidelines. I thought, so that's what you your guidelines you got to hurt them so i i saw all this and i thought this is not going to end well yeah now when she first mentioned that we're being lied to I instantly our situation is aware that this isn't good and my other half better half uh, is a pharmacist mm. and she said to me one thing is she said five to ten years minimum testing no way. Yeah. I'll give it six months, let's see who we are. And if it's no good, we'll carry on. Six months. So if we did, and we went, no, this isn't right. No way. And she told her friends, don't go near it. She told her mother, don't go near it. Her mother had two. God help us. 
Yeah. Well, there's friends had some, and there's some of them are no longer with us. Well, we were all. But, paint- we, but this is all. This is this story I'm telling is common everywhere. Absolutely. Yeah. So and we were painted as crazy. We, crazy. we weren't painted- invited. We weren't invited yep. around people's houses. No, I, we yeah. lost, jobs, lost jobs. We lost friends, yep. and we were trying to help people. Help people. Yeah. And if the only people who are going to help the people who are damaged is us. Yeah. Because your doctor sure doesn't want to know. But isn't it interesting now, as well... Government don't want to know. When you put it in this context, Mm. so you say, all the people that tried to help you during the big C, right? We turned out to be right, and now it's all falling apart. Now, all those people that were trying to help you during the big C are now saying, there's something going on with the skies. (laughs) Yeah. It's the same people. Same people, yeah. yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's always time will tell, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And unfortunately, what do you want to be? Do you want to be aware of what's going on or asleep what's going on? I'd rather be aware. I, I, I can't know. I, the bit I struggle with is um, getting on with life, knowing that this is all going on around you. I, I always it makes said, it very hard to plan. Yeah, I always said, when it comes to my front door, that it's time to fight back. Yeah. And we had a meeting the day in our street at a, a church regarding some people that wanted to basically sort of you know, rearrange the way the traffic runs, etc., etc. Yeah. You know, that sort of thing. I thought, here we go, this is going to be interesting. Yeah. So I went along and said, right, the first three people, I live in a coastal town. Yeah. The three people I knew there didn't even live anywhere near it. So I had no idea the community, what the traffic was or anything like that. Yeah. And I thought, this is world, um, you know what? Yeah. This yeah. is the old um, yeah. people in Switzerland again. Yeah. Here we go again. It's coming to my door. It's going to be interesting. And then all of a sudden at the very end, they dragged out this wonderful album of this is how your street could sort of looks like now, and this is how it could look. All these planters and trees and no cars, etc. And I went, this is straight out of the WF playbook. Yep. End of. Yeah. And I mentioned to this guy, uh, this guy I said, have you heard of C50, uh, C20, C46? Yeah. Have you heard of low traffic neighbourhoods? Have you heard of 50 minute cities? And he said, yes. I went, oh. Really, and you can from another town to dictate what we do to this. Yeah, I said, Right, I said, I'll tell you straight to your face, mate. You put anything like that out there, I'll be chopping it down. Yeah, he looked at me shocked. I said, No, I will be. Yeah, this is where the point where I said, I stand and fight. Well, this is where, and that's why I feel about it. That's me personally 100%. And you've got to start yeah. talking about civic duty, you know, yeah. what, what what is your actual duty, yeah. and at what point, right? Uh, at what, and and I said this the other day in a video, like people. People have got a break point on at what point they break mentally yeah. and it breaks them. But at what point is your break point where you say, do you know what, I'm, I've, I own an angle grinder yeah. and I know what I need to do. And I'm going out and do it great stuff it is. I need to get Good one. I, 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 I'm going to do, I'll, I'll buy one. Yeah. Send me a link to one you recommend and I'll, I'll do a YouTube review out. on a um, yeah. cordless angle grinder. Yeah. Digital ID, biometric for travel will be next. It will be the nail in the freedom's coffin. Oh, yeah. yeah, but Absolutely. what gives me hope though, if we can yeah. finish with a little bit of hope is, when I did my big video on digital ID, yeah. I said that everything was going to be in and done by September just gone, and it's not. No. I do think no. that we are winning. We are we're, winning. We're waking people up at yeah. an alarming rate, yeah. and I as, think as what I this means before, is, as you said, we've now got this happened. flailing They've animal. They've woken 18.9 million in this yeah. country, never mind any others. 18.9 million didn't go anywhere near it. They're away, either some are, some are still asleep, but we're going to want it anyway. Yeah. We'll just frighten the needles, but that's me really as well. Well, that's where but, my but thing no, started. I can't stand the thing. I just don't like needles. No, I don't like them. Terrible things. You might, oh, put, show me a needle, I'm gone, that's it. Yeah. You know, I've got friends like that. But I could give you lots of... You're sort of the same as me. You've got lots of stories about friends of friends or friends of friends of friends or know yeah. someone who's fallen down to all this sort of stuff. What I do say, what I, the other things I do find, every now and again, I reckon you're the same. Every now and again, you'll watch videos, you'll ask content on this subject. You go, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Every now and again, you get that blinder one that goes, wow. Yeah. That has woken, that has an interest. I've got to post someone up to friends. Yeah. There was one you did of yourself, and you had a statement, and I thought, you're absolutely, I won't use the word that word, but it was spot on. Yeah. What you said. And I've written it a few times to people. We just want to be left alone. Yeah. And that, you couldn't put it better, said, Jeff, you could not put that better. Well, yeah. Just leave us alone. Yeah. We've got how many years on this planet? How many years awake? Yeah. Actually doing stuff? It's not a lot. No. Leave us alone. Yeah. Life is hard enough as it is. Yeah. And you've got and all you, these little things that are biting at all the little areas little bits, of your yeah. life. And just and it, taking away all yeah. those little bits of enjoyment that yeah. you've got. Absolutely. When you push people too far, yeah. they're going to snap. No snap. 
and mental problem is a big one. It's huge. huge. Again, that's, in the yeah. new, that's coming yeah. up in my news story. And talking well. the mental stuff, you look at it now, now we are where we are, you and I are with this. Look. You look back on it, you're thinking, this is probably, you have the physical side of things. Yep. As in, I'll tell you about that in a minute, actually. But remind me to tell you that, the physical side of stuff. Yeah. But the, the psychological stuff that went on with the public of the world is absolutely massive. Yeah, it's huge. It, There's more put into that. Yeah. The psychological effort of manipulating people, and in seventy seven percent. Oh, what they did and that was what incredible. Did was incredible. It's a, a, well done. Well done. Yeah, I, I was, I was, you know, what a it. superb job. Superb you psychologically job. Yeah. manipulated yeah. entire absolutely. countries. So, you made intelligent yeah. people yeah. lose their minds. Mind, mind, yeah. There's a lot and of work went into a lot that. Of work went into that, and, 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 they're, and they're still at it now. Yeah. With climate change. Yeah. <laughs> so. You know, my friend of mine who worked in that office, we went for a drive down to see Queen of all things in London. Yeah. And we were discussing it there. And she came out with the classic line. The intervention, she said, is an absolute work of genius. Mm -hmm. I said, I shouldn't say it, but it's a work of genius. And she's right. It is a work of genius. Because you've created something and someone becomes unwell. The last thing they tie it to is that. Yeah. But because it gives so many different reactions. No one said, oh, it can't be that. Yeah. It can't be that. I still get that. Oh, it's not that. I had that months ago. It won't be that. And you're like, you just roll your eyes and go, yeah, whatever. I'm yeah. just I'm not interested. Yeah. yeah. But like you say, everyone, everyone's got a story and it creeps closer and closer yeah. to you. So, you know, it does. My, my best friend's dad went from blood clots in his legs in December to dead last week. Oh, really? My Jane's uh, mum's neighbour. That, that was someone that yep. shouldn't have died. No, Jane's mum's neighbour. All right. Old Alan's an old bloke. He's a nice bloke. Uh, went to the hospital. Yeah. And uh, they got a blood clot from there to his knee. Yeah. And do you know what they give him? Blood thinners. We yeah. just laughed. One of the ones was a uh, next door neighbour, uh, Bill, where Jane lives. And um, he went to the local hospital in Southport. And he went there with an eye infection during COVID. Yeah. Went with an eye infection. And Joe and I looked at other and looked at them and said for mum, he won't be coming back. And what? What do you mean he won't be coming back? Next thing, guess what he's got? You guessed it. The yeah. C word. Yeah. And um, six days later, he's passed away. What a surprise. Comment coming in there, look. My dad was vaccine injured. He's a permanent lung damage now. And his mate just died a few weeks ago. And he said in the car, it's real, it's here. It's my friends dying and this now. And he yeah. was upset. It's yeah. shocking, isn't it? It's, it's, it's horrible. It's, it's, I see it everywhere. One of my, one of my ex-girlfriends friends woke up in the morning and just found her husband dead. Yeah. So many of these like, tragic stories as well. I think. I've just been now talking to one of our MG guys. Yeah. And one of the MG specialists, um, mid 50s, heart attack and over. Yeah. Just found out today. And the thing is, as well, when, you just roll your eyes again, another one. When you get car, I said this last year, when you get car clubs together like this, this mm. is when all the stories come out because you're all here with your cars. You're like, oh, how's Dave? Yeah. You know, the one from down south, how's he doing? Oh, no, well, uh, he dropped dead. Dropped dead. What about Keith? Where's Keith this year? Well, Keith's well, not doing well, well either. Yeah. Yeah. And you start to get all these stories mm. of these communities and you start you to realise that, ah, yeah. actually, this is a real thing. I mean, I, I, I could go on, you and the same as me. Yeah. You could probably, you got probably an hour, two or three thousand hours worth of stories that I can yeah. tell you, friends of friends of people on yeah, yeah, Facebook, yeah. etc. Yeah. And I've got exactly the same. Yeah. And you think... And so have all we, the people watching. Yeah. But we didn't have this three years ago. No. There was none of it. We just got all the lives. Yeah. And now we're awake to something that's gone that's not right. Yeah. But no, you look at it and you just think, this... Where's it all going? That's the question. Where are this going is what it? concerns me, mm. um, especially as I've got you know small kids. Yeah. I think, well, what, uh, what, what I don't want to do is miss my moment to jump off the boat, but I don't know where to run to either. Yeah. You know, there's no country that is, there's no country that's safe. And even looking no. at the weather, you know, my wife was looking at the weather yesterday because we're talking about doing yeah. this road trip, and even Spain's under similar skies right now. And you're like, mm. 20 odd degrees in there, which is something. Yeah, there's got to be somewhere yeah. that's got some sun, and wherever that is, I need to drive there. Would you jump country to get away from all this? I'm going to have to. I've thought I don't, about it. I don't think. I've thought about it. Where would you go, though? Well, first of all, the big one is, I noticed in this country, is the amount of people pouring into it we don't really like, we don't really want, we don't assimilate with. This is a huge that is a issue. That is a concern. You've got a massive vote winner. The biggest vote winner probably in the history of vote winners if you stop this and return these people to where they came from. Yeah. Do they want to do it? No. On, on, so, on any side. On any side of things. So then you're going to... Richard the old... Tice from Reform is saying he'll stop the boats, but they've all no, said they'll stop the boats. they've all said they'll stop the boats. But there again, it's the old, like, follow the money. Yeah. 
and I think you probably we probably can't go down this avenue of naming names or them, but if we follow the money on it, you start to realise, okay, I get that one, that's where you go now, that's why they're not stopping them. Yeah. Yeah, simple as that one. And you thought you're rotten lot. So you follow the money on that one, which is a bit like the medical information is follow the money on that one. Yeah. So then you end up back at where and Mark climb. Sexton is, which is a actual deliberate crime that's being perpetrated against the people. Yeah. yeah. That's huge. Climate change. That's revolution. Follow, climate change is follow the money as well. It's all follow the money. Yeah. So you've got a, a, a group of people who are, when it comes mentally, are psychopaths. Yeah. Because that's the only best way to describe them. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's a bit like, I was talking about, we, we look various scenarios, we're always talking about various ways, other ways of looking at it. It's a like playing Monopoly. Yeah. And I played Monopoly with you, Jeff, right? Yeah. And Jeff, oh, you've got old Kent and uh, my yeah. chap, and that's it, really. Yeah. And you've got a few old bits and bobs, right? And I've got Mayfair, Park Lane, all the green ones. Yeah. Regent Street, Oxford Street, what's the other one? Whatever it was. Yeah. And I've got a couple of the other ones as well. Yeah. And Jeff is losing badly, and Jeff doesn't want to play anymore. No yeah. But I'm mad, I want to keep going. So I want to give Jeff some money to keep, just keep going a bit more. Yeah. Because I am power mad hungry. And that's what it's like, isn't it? When you play Monopoly, you play yeah. Monopoly to all of them. Yeah. And this is what you've got. You've got a group of people who have got money is just irrelevant to them. Yeah. They can buy anything they feel like, and they've run out of things to do. Yeah. But because of their the, the makeup, the the mental makeup they are, the way they have minds work, they're constantly thinking of what to do next, the next thing, the next thing can make money out. What else can I make money out? How can I make more of it? Yeah. And this is what they're and then they've got a group of people all like-minded in that sort of yeah. region and thinking, well, we can control the world, what's our view of the world? Well, yeah. I don't think we like we don't want those people yeah. here. Oh, well, we've got too many people there, how do we get rid of them? I've got yeah. an idea. And this is what you're up against, a gang of people get together with this mentality. Yeah. And this is where we are right now. And people need to understand as well that the, peop I think. the people that run the world don't respect international borders. They don't no, think no, that no, way. No, 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 no. They They're above no, all they're that. No, they're above all that. They don't... They're, you got if you've got a friend who's got a million quid and a few houses or two million quid, you think they're rich? They're nothing. Cause they're, they're just peasants compared to what these guys are. Yeah. And that's where you're at. Yeah. And you don't move in their circles and way they work. You've got no, no idea. It's, 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 a, it's a completely, completely different, different world. world. Yeah. It's a level beyond what you think the guys won the lottery at two, three, four, five million, or ten, twenty million. It's Someone's saying that. London, twenty third of April. I assume there's a March or a, something. Yeah. What is it? Probably, I don't know, probably some just, uh, something going on there. I'll keep an eye on that. I've always, we thought of actually going on one of these marches down when, these, uh, when the thing was on. When I was we, there. You, we oh, never did, but it's a long, was, it's a long yeah. track. We it thought, was a long yeah, track, but I just thought, felt like yeah, I had to be there. Had to be there for that one, but we never went on it. We thought maybe we should, but. Yeah. But as like I said, if it comes to your front door, then starts to uh, yeah. get take action at the end of the day. Uh, weapons are selling really well at the minute. I hear that crossbows are being clamped down on as well. Do you know, uh, I, I, do, I don't I'm going to think like that. Honestly, I'm, I'm not. I used to do a bit of marketing no, for a company that sold crossbows. As yeah. soon as the Cove Corona started to come around, you could not buy a crossbow for love nor money. And that no. kind of gives me hope. Because yeah. the, everybody saw in the news, oh, there's a big virus coming, and everybody went, buy weapons. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah okay, i got a yeah. crossbow. you got a crossbow? I haven't, I haven't used it yet. I haven't, no, but it's been on my mind. But I've got a workshop with a Lathan machine. I can make pretty much whatever I want to. Oh, that's handy. Yeah, yeah. they're handy to have. Yeah. yeah. You just mean we drive around the AC Cobra to shoot but no, but yeah. Yeah. no. <laughs> which I must get done. So But you sort of you want that balance, you want to keep your, your normal life going. Yeah. I mean your normal life has turned into a YouTuber. Yeah. My normal life is fixing MGs and MGFs, that's what I do all day. I, yeah. like, I do like it, I do enjoy it. Yeah. But you sort of want to keep your eye on the world at the same time and yeah. you, you're trying to avoid yourself falling into hopeless and despair and what's the point it's, in carrying on it's difficult because you do end up in this sort of red pill blue pill situation where yeah. you think do you know what i'm going to be better off if i don't think about any of this stuff. yeah if you lived on telegram all day day on bit shoot rumble and looked at all the stuff that was going on it'd do you over it'll do you it'll just send you insane i've got a friend of mine who does suffer a bit from it I yeah she does yeah and it would do and i get that so you have to look at it and back off and well think, this right, is my what normal life is how do, I, how do I deal with this? Well, at, at the minute, and I, and I tell you, we're, we're getting through it like one adventure at a time. So mm -hmm. I'll look for, so, you know, we've just come back, we're not long come back from our holiday, family yeah. break, that was great. Yeah. And now we're back and it's like, okay, when's the next one? So you're like, each each time trying yeah. to get to that next holiday, that next yeah. break, 
But now I'm going a level further where I've been like, hang on a minute, if all I want to do is be in the sunshine, I need to move to the sunshine. So yeah. things are moving on a little bit. And I you know, even sat down with a friend of mine yesterday and he was like, well, how would it affect your YouTube channel if you did move? And would people follow the move? And yeah. maybe there's... Back, back to moving out the country, as I said before, it's trying to find a country. So this country is quite happy like all the sundry. In, yeah. And a lot of European countries are. Yeah. There's one that's called Hungary that just went, nope. Yeah. And you think, I'm impressed with that. Yeah. You know, you look and think that's what you want. Someone yeah. stands up and represents the people. No represents us anymore. No. You remember something before about Graham? Every now and again, you see a video that's outstanding. Yeah. I watched one with Richard Bobes. Richard just he put so much stuff out. I can't keep up with that. I don't really go into it all. Yeah. But he won put him on the defined democracy. Mm. You may have watched it, and it's written a hundred years ago by some guy who, who said basically described democracy as when we elect someone to represent us to deliver what we asked for. Yeah. If it's the other way round, you don't have tyranny. So we yeah. have now tyranny. Yes. Yeah, we, we don't do. live in a democracy anymore. That's gone. Yeah. That's just an illusion. Yeah. We're giving it to people think, oh, for vote Labour, it's going to change everything. Oh, yeah, the Tories, I hate the Tories. I get them. I hate the Tories, I hate the Tories. Yeah. All right, what are you going to vote for instead of vote Labour? It's the same thing. Well, again... So you, they, they've got this illusion going on that if they vote for something else, it's also going to change. Well, how old are you? Yeah. Have a think back now. Have a long think back. What's changed since when have they actually done anything you asked? Never. And we don't. And we don't need big government. We, no, we don't could. Either. We could organise locally. Yeah. You know, like in the old days, yeah. and it would work. And you could have local yeah. justice, and you could have mm. local judges, mm. and you could have local lawyers yeah. and local police, and it could be done. There's yeah. alternative ways of doing it. There are. And we have a system that's geared up that's totally against us. Yeah, absolutely. And all for people who are making, well, yeah, power, control, money yeah. out of us. That's it. Yeah. And you dig into it and you just think, how do you change this? And you just yep. think to the point, I can't. What's cool though, to bring this all back around as we begin to conclude, mm -hmm. I come to shows like this, right? Mm -hmm. And yes, people want to look at the car, but most people come up and be like, I'm with you, Jeff. And that's oh, quite heartening, that is. Yeah, you we know? are. Most There's people more are... of us than you, you think. And I felt very sorry for people out there, and I did meet them, who felt so alone. Yeah. I've got friends of mine who went nowhere near what was going on. And their family was, well, this is wrong. You're, you're, I don't want to come near to you. I don't want to eat near you. You can't come around my house. You're like, you've known this. I, you, you, and this goes against the logic. I said, you've known this person for having to a born. Yeah. And you don't want to go near them because of, they won't stick something yeah. inside them that they said no. And well, you're going to have to speak to them. Happened really to ridiculous. my brothers and my brother and yeah. his girlfriend at the time. Big family Christmas plan. Looking yeah. forward to it. You know, her parents on that side. Yeah. Everyone's looking forward to it. The food's ordered. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Mum always puts on a fantastic spread. Mm -hmm. Two nights As before, mum does a PCR test. Oh, it might God. even have been a lateral flow. Test positive, Christmas is cancelled. My brother was livid. Because it really, like, what was that all about? Yeah. We, we went to, uh, this is your level, we went on holiday. We people, oh, you can't go on holiday. That's supposed to be lockdown. Yeah. And mum said, oh, you can't, I'm going to, I'm going to off to Peterborough to drop a load of MGT, MGF subframes off. Oh, you can't go there, the police will arrest you, we'll take you away. That's naughty, you shouldn't do that. And we were like, nah. Yeah. The rose, brilliant, the rose, lovely. We had the best day. The, the day Boris Johnson said, don't go anywhere, we had the best day on the beach. You went somewhere, did you? We went to Newquay. Yeah. And there's, <laughs> tell you what, right, the surf was pumping, the yeah. sun was shining, there yeah. were no toilets open anywhere. No. So we had to drive all the way to Morrison yeah. so my little boy could have a poo. Because you couldn't, you couldn't go to the no. toilets anywhere. And then you go, you go into Wales and you'd be like, all right, we're on the beach in the middle of nowhere, uh, there's no toilets. Yeah. Oh no, we closed those because of COVID. Well, what do you think is better for people's health, right? Yeah. Closing the toilets or having everybody shitting in the sand dunes. Yeah. So what's open? Oh yeah, what the best one was open McDonald's. There was queues at South at McDonald's. Is he queuing up to eat that rubbish? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're yeah. several of gyms where you're supposed to keep people healthy. That, that, it, I, I mean, it was the opposite of what was told. That's got to wake people up, hasn't it? Oh yeah, the government's no. here to look after your health. The gyms are closed, but McDonald's is open yeah. and you're not allowed to go outside to exercise. Yeah. And if you're going for a walk in the Derbyshire Dales, we're going to yeah. shame you with a drone. Common sense when critical thinking just gone out the window. This Everyone. is what confused me, because people just lost their ability to question things. And things. You don't question anything. And my, my dad is an absolute, I hate Boris Johnson, I hate the Tories, etc. Yeah. But I said to him one day, I said, it's funny, Dad, eh? you hate Boris Johnson, you hate the Tories, but you believed everything I said about sticking that stuff in, didn't you? I just said nothing. You get to the stage with people where you just can't talk about it, no, and it, and it becomes this like barrier between you that neither of you approaches. No, I've got friends of mine, I know for 30, 40 years, we could talk about anything and everything. This subject, no. Yeah. If you think, this isn't right. Yeah. You can't talk about this. Yeah. Anyway, one thing, Jeff. There's so much in my mind going through my mind now to talk about. It's just going, mind's going crazy now. There's so many subjects in there. I know. 
I know. I, 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 I love the people who said, oh, I had it to go on holiday. Yeah. Yeah. Something about, so a week, you want a week's holiday, but you can stick some experimental stuff inside you that might yeah. have some nasty side effects just for a week or two of holiday. Yeah. Is that holiday really worth it? Yeah. Well, we went to Cyprus and Turkey with no issue at all. Yeah. We had a holiday, great time. Yep. And I felt sorry for the people in Cyprus. The place was so quiet, and Turkey as well. They were begging for people to come over. Yeah. The place was dead. Yeah. It was nice for us, like it was quiet. Yeah. I felt sorry for them, really did. Yeah. Oh, we had to do one of them tests as well, it was hilarious. I mean, we didn't do them. We just went, yeah, we'd done them and sent them off. Well, I, 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 I never did yeah. that stick up your nose thing. Oh, I, didn't, yeah. I never did it. My girlfriend did it. Not, did to, it for me. not, not going anywhere near that. that the best oh, one really? we had was we, we flew back from Egypt. It must have been 2020 or 20, must have been 2020, yeah. whatever year it was. Yeah. And you had to fill in this app on your way back. It was like the, the NHS app and you all had to log it for all the family. And I think I talked about this the other day. And I, just, I couldn't work it out. It was a right pain in the ball. So in the end, I just ticked for all four of us that we were exempt because we were under age five. And then we got back into the UK and I showed the lady at customs or checking or whatever it was, this app. And she kind of looked at me and was like, I know what you've done here. Go on, on your way. You're fine. <laughs> it was brilliant. <laughs> so uh, I put uh, all my health details uh, in. Oh, God, I'm trying to think of defining moments. Masks. When was the point you realised masks were a load of rubbish? Immediately. Immediately. We wore it to keep the peace. And then I watched a video uh, with Rhino Fulmich and interviewing Dr. David Martin. Yeah. Now, you know these two names, don't you? Yeah. Can you go any further? And Dr. David Martin went right for all the patents. I went, right. I'm not 99% convinced anymore. That's your lot. I'm done. Yeah. And I went to see a concert with the Weed Weeders Dicks a lot. And we went all shopping. No one said, but I said a word to us. Mm. No one said a word to us. If you look to the government websites, if you don't wear a mask, no one's allowed to question you. That was actually good. Yeah, I you printed it out on a business card because the, no one had read the, the guidance. Read the, guidance. Read the, guidance. the guidance said if you don't like wearing them, them, you don't have to wear them. them. I read that word. I went, wow, right, that'll do me fine. Thank you. So we went to see a Human League concert in Manchester. Yeah. We walked in there. Have we got a mask? No. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Uh, have we done a COVID test? No. Oh, okay, here you go. You're right. Yeah. That, that was that one. Yeah. Because no one was, no one was, make, no one was reading the actual up. government guidelines yeah. on it. And it drove oh, me mental. Did you get a phone call? I'm on a roll there, mate. Go on. Did you get a phone call asking about when you're going for your um, medical information, intervention? Uh, no, I got text messages, but I, I, ne I never got a phone call. I got the phone call. I only ever got one. Yeah. I'm not surprised the answer yeah, yeah. I gave. They phoned me up and said, we're ringing about your um, medical information. Oh, really? Uh, when would you like to book it? I do not want one, thank you. Oh, why not? I said, I can think of 1,400 plus reasons not to have one. Yeah. I went quiet. Oh, what do you mean by that? Well, so far, there's 1,400 people have passed away according to the yellow card scheme. I went quiet. So they're not, you know. Oh, would you consider one in the future? I said, which part of stupid do you think I am? All of it. And that was it. I've never heard another word. Yeah. But I was informed. I, I, I got like a UK column. Yeah. Hats off to UK column for breaking a lot down. They're, they're a great team. They really are. But that's because I knew. Yeah. I was ready for you lot. Yeah. You know, I think a friend of mine got one and he said, really, what's in it? Yeah. What's it, what are the reactions? No, thank you. The yeah. Exact, it goes, yeah. And again, Dot do, do Malik talks about... Um, doctors married doctors going home mm. and having competitions to see who'd like done the most in a day yeah and how, you know how much money they were making and yeah the, the list is endless of, it of is stuff you could just play. you start talking but, about it and yeah you, you're off but on to you. convey i watched a, a very interesting bit again you get the odd video that jumps out at you yeah uh, you can go through 50 10 20 and just yeah. say oh yeah, okay yeah, it's the same as before or, that's interesting but every yeah. time you get one he goes i like that campbell did one with him uh, australian Psychologist, mm. um, female, you might have watched it. Yeah, yeah watch that. Brilliant. I love that because you think she's got a great angle of the reason why yeah. people could not take on board what you're telling them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they've already got this barrier of you're not the person to go through for in safe information. Yeah. They've already got this barrier. They're already, it's indoctrinated into them of who to believe. Yeah. And you think you're pretty spot on. I think you got it right there. Yeah. That's exactly why it's hard to tell someone, look, there may be something going on here. Yeah. I've got a friend of mine, I said the guy for 30, 40 years, I remember. Um, we could talk about anything. Mm. And I said to him once, I said, um, so and so, you had a motorbike, don't you? He said, yeah. I said, okay, so you come into my house one day? He said, yeah. And I rang you up and said, you're popping around, said, just to warn you, there's black ice on the road. Yeah. I said, yeah, would that be a good thing to do? Well, yes, it would be. I said, this is the same thing. Yeah. I'm warning you that things aren't quite right. 
be very careful, be very yeah. worried. Anything I send you, have a good look at it and good read and think, think about yeah. it. Yeah. No, I never did. Of course, the other side of that is, and you know, this is essentially a car and motoring channel, right? Yeah. Let's say you've got that, your friend that's got that motorbike or mm. that high performance car. Yeah. You're coming around my house next week. Yep. Yeah. I've made some experimental fuel. Um, yeah. Can we can we try your car on this experimental fuel? Well, I don't know. Have you have, well, you, you, have you tested it? What's in it? I'm not telling you, and I'm not going to release the the, the results of the test for 70 years. Do you want to try my new fuel? Oh, by the way, wouldn't, you wouldn't, would you? If the car blows up and crashes, you die. Well, there's no comeback yeah, on me on that. Yeah, one. you can't sue me. That, that, was, that was, wasn't on me. me. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't on me. Either. But when you try and put it in those terms for people, they go, "Oh, well, why would I have had that?" Well, you did. Yeah. You just did. Went along with the crowd like sheep. You did that. Anyway, yeah. I reckon that'll do. Thank you very much, it. everybody, for watching. We've got 365 people watching us. Ladies Pretty and gentlemen, that was Will. Year. Will's been saying hello to me at this show, and I think the November one as well. I'm not Mrs. Jeff with the long hair. <laughs> so there you go. I like that. She's still secret. Uh, no one knows who she is. No one knows. No, no one knows. It's like Harry Metcalf. We're constantly trying to find out who's Harry Metcalf. Who is she? Who's Mrs. Metcalf? Because as well, we, we, we watched her the other day in the counter, and we thought, that's got to be her, that's her feet, and Jane went definitely female feet. Yeah, I, do you know <laughs> what? I did the same thing, because you, you, you're sitting there watching him, you're like, well, he's not filming himself. No, he's not, no. He's not going watch, on a road trip on his own. Do you watch the Spanish one just recently? Just yeah, not. just watch that. Yeah, you watch him in the contact, you're thinking, that's, Jane, that's female feet, that's got to be her. Do you we, know what? Googly, who, who is she? Yeah, I, 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 I think he, I think he, does, people are saying, does anybody know Will's channel? You could do a YouTube channel. What would it involve? What would it involve? Sitting in a car and talking to your yeah, phone. swearing at MGF who made these rotten things. I think, but like Stuart Fillingham, you know, Stuart Fillingham does motorbike stuff and he does yeah. some of that stuff as well. You could film talk fixing an MG and then you could be talking about stuff that's going on in the world. Could do. There you go. So as soon as Will gets a channel, I'll let you all know. Oh, Someone yeah. says, Jeff, set him up. I'll set you up with a channel. Cool. Yeah. I'll think about it. Right, thank you very much, everybody. Someone did um, say I should do it. As I'm building AC Cobra, someone said, you should set up this AC Cobra building channel. But time. I time think is a problem, if you can find a way that you yeah. can... It's the editing. You've got to find content yeah. that you can do without editing. People yeah. will have known. I, I try to edit a lot less these days because I yeah. can get more content out and I can do more in yeah. my life and I spend less time on my computer. But if you're doing engine stuff, it's very hard to do that unedited because yeah. a job might take you six hours and no, well, people probably would watch you doing that hey, six you hours. You work on MGS, mate. You're coming in for an hour's job. Four hours later, you're still cutting bits out. Because you can't reach the engine. You can't get on. No. No. Right no, in the no mechanics in my car want to tow them near them. No. There's about four or five specialists in the country. Yep. How about people drop come from Scotland? Yeah, I can believe it. Cars just, guys just dropped a car from, God bless them, from Minehead. Yeah. Full rebuild. Yeah. You know, back up rims a whole lot. I do a lot of performance. I'm not saying what I do, but I do a lot of stuff on them. They're good I cars, right. those MGFs are, they, oh, they? They're cheap as chips. Yeah. They're built badly. They're built to a price. They're, but you... Yeah. I mean, I've got 15 of my own, I'll admit it. Have you? Yeah, shouldn't have, but I have. Yeah. One's a rice one. I've got some ones I'll keep. I've got one that's an ex-press car. Yeah. Well, there's only four of the press cars, that particular one. Yeah. And you have trophy in yellow. I've got one that's modified to death, which is my own, which my own, I do my own brake kits and design yeah. and builders. I've done a lot of that to that. And, you know, you do get attached to them. Yeah. But if you buy them, you've got the people like to polish them and stick bling on them. Yeah. They take them from MOT, they want thousands of pounds worth of work, and I yeah. just say you spent the money in the wrong place. Yeah. yeah you yeah. do get a lot of people just. Every, it's the whole. I think they're all when the same, aren't they? Yeah. When they're they're well. I had one, right? And. Are you over it, it now? Are you alright? It went to it went to a specialist. Went for scrap, yeah. And they said, Do you want us to set your suspension up the same way we do with our track cars? Oh, yeah. And I said, Yes. And yeah. the difference in handling when I picked it oh, up. Oh, yeah. Was it hydraulic suspension? Yeah. Though? Yeah. Yeah, it was, right. it was a. It was a 51 plate, so a 2001 MGF freestyle. Do you know what I've got? I I've got it. three of those. Have I've got you? four of those. I've got two in silver. Yep. One in black. Yeah. One in green. Nice. And the black one has now has TF subframes on it. Yep. Galvanized. I first galvanized. It's got red leather. No, it's black leather. Is it? I first galvanized subframes in 2015, and guess what? No, there's still no rust on them. Yeah. I, I sell them all day long, then things. Yeah. And uh, it's got a 160 engine in it. Shouldn't have. Jan Speed yep. manifold, saber head on it. You, can you have to let, let when you come across a cheap one. You have to let me know because. What do you want? Well, I want to pay like a grand. No problem at all. I can only come from some more. I want TF or an F. Do you want the high plastic? No, I want an F. You I want don't an F? want. A, I don't want a TF. I want an F. You want an F? Yeah. Oh, I've got loads. Just keep me posted. Yeah. Yeah, mine was silver, uh, black leather. That's it. VK fifty one UAC. VK fifty one UAC. Where is I it? Wrote, is it still on? You wrote no, it off. I, I killed it. 
I was trying oh, to. No. Was trying What'd to, you do to it? I was trying to drift it on a roundabout in Birmingham, and I overcooked it, lost the back end, and the back swung around and yeah. hit the central reservation that yeah. divides the dual carriageway. What did you damage? Everything. Oh, body Everything. body. Yeah, twisted. Yeah, I found it. But I, I had it all repaired before I knew that I'd screwed it. Oh. It was just a disaster. I was young and dumb. Um, but you had rubbish, rubbish tyres on, didn't you? Uh, probably, and yeah. And no respect for a wheel-wheel drive car and mid-engine. Yes. I, I was right. quite good at drifting it. Yeah. I, I was all right, but I just on that day I overcooked it. <laughs> to be honest, they're extremely hard. With the right tyres on, in yeah. the dry, they're extremely hard to slide. Yeah. You have to be an absolute idiot to slide it. Yeah, they, it, they, it, they, it was damp. And then when it yeah, went, it, it In the wet, went. you know, respect it. Yeah. Well, I, can't, well, I built a counter replica years ago, I was 23. Yeah. And uh, I was glad to see one white one over there, which was not very good. Yeah, I, I saw that as yeah, well. Yeah. But I, I, I built a counter when I was 23 because I was just obsessed with it. I went, I went for it, I went, went for it, I went yeah. for it. Um, I had a fabulous time with that thing. Yeah. But my God, you put it on a roundabout in the wet, you put your foot down, it would just spun right round. Yeah. We took it on Southport Beach actually. Did you? And it went round around circles. Nice. I got a picture of that years ago. But that was like 23. With the, I, with the MGs I, as well, yeah, they've, the they've got that bush at the back, haven't they? And it slides like this. And if you haven't got that bush, yeah. Done properly, the car can yeah. snap on you in a corner yes. because the wheel can move against itself. You've got a trailing arm at the back, it's got two great big bushes. Yeah. And you often see a gap there in MOT time, you're thinking that's worn and tight, this should be nice and tight. Yeah. We bang poly bushes on there. Yeah, 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 just poly bushes. You poly push suspension on, on an, you poly push suspension on F, yeah. you stick a TF rack on it. Yeah. That's oh, a different car. Yeah. But All right. I, I tell people, look, Stop paying money out for bling and chrome and things like yeah, that. Yeah. You have a fantastic luggage shop. racks. Yeah, luggage junk on. <laughs> oh, I've got some stainless. I've got some decals. Yeah. Oh, go away. You've got a great chassis underneath there. Yeah. You really have. Spend the money on that. Yeah. Suspension brakes are atrocious. Upgrade. Yeah. Come and see me. I'll do your upgrade on brakes. Yeah. Upgrade the brakes on it, and you'll start to find you really have a nice driver's car. Yeah. And you can start to drive from seat fans. Yeah. And you know it's a weekend away car. A blast around the lakes because I'm fortunate where I live. The lakes is an hour and a half away. Wales, North Wales, an hour and a half away. Peak District, an hour and a half away. Yeah, it's great to drive. And that, that take it for a day out there and just be a lunatic in it. Yeah, get a nice exhaust. Yeah, be a child. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and just have some fun with it. There you you don't go. need massive amounts of power. No, 160 horsepower, 170. You're gonna have great yeah. fun with that. But no, they are the bargain. They are. They are. They are. Do you have a choice people with the MX5? People with the MX5 is pretty more reliable. Yeah, but not half rot. Yeah. But the MX Hybrid is soft and more sort of forgiving. And, they're different yeah, things. Different, don't you know, they're, they're, they're different things, and then you can't you can't compare them with like no. the Z3 and the SLK because no. they're different again. Different. I've got an SLK as well. How do you rate an SLK compared to an MGF then? Completely different cars. Yeah. I mean, I'm sat there. It's hard did, to compare them, no, isn't it? We did a European trip last year. I'm gonna open this door. It's getting warm. Let me put it on here. I'll drink it. We did four, We did an SLK trip like a uh, uh, European tour last year. Yeah. Self-employed has to have its benefits. If we, well, there's no point. And we thought, enough, we're out of here. Yeah. So we booked to go to Sweden Rock. Not the crew death, I thought Love and Run. Yeah. And that's great time. Yeah, yeah. And then through German, Netherlands, Germany. Did 10 days of Swiss and all the Swiss Alps. The Swiss are mad. And then we went to Le Mans Classic with yeah. the North Swiss Kick Corners group. Great bunch of guys. We stayed at a chateau. We, st we, st we stayed at a chateau. Nice. We didn't. Un chateau. We stayed at a chateau in a tent. Yeah. Yeah. Jay and I bought our first house, a tent. <laughs> we were laughing at it, we really yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the French are funny, but that's another story. Yeah. Um, but we had a great time. Four and a half thousand miles in the SLK, and I sat there and thought, do I take the MGF or the SLK? It's a no brainer. You take the SLK. Yeah. And the SLK, I have to say, absolutely came that car, 18 inch wheels, 350 motor, manual box. Yeah. Which is rare. It came into its own abroad. Yeah. It was, it was just made for those roads. Yeah. Go back to England, it's like it's all right, yeah, it's a bit bangy and ba you know, knocky yeah, yeah. because of the roads are garbage, yeah. But my god, I would rather have the MG for a blast out on the mountains, MG all the time, yeah. The SLK is a big, bulky thing, it's lovely to drive, it does everything very well. But would it want to take the MG on the long run? No yeah. chance. The MG does the edge in the motor, yeah, That's irritating, better for longer distance, but yeah. Though. The SLK is if anyone gets an SLK or a box or something like that. My view is take it abroad, really. Yeah. You, you, you get so much more out of the car. Yeah. So much better. They were built for it. Yeah. And they built back home, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. do the French Alps, do the Swiss Alps. Yeah. And the French Alps. Go to Le Mans Classic. You're just mad. It's crazy. Yeah. You do a French Classic. You've been, you've I been Le Mans no, Classic. No, I haven't done Le Mans Classic. No. Go. We're going in 2025. I want the car to finish for that. Hopefully, it's, we're still here by then. Bedlam. 
Yeah, we will be. Positive, positive thinking. thinking. Positive you've thinking. Got to, you've got to carry on as yeah. if nothing's going on, yeah. but be aware. Yeah. That is my view of it. If you want to think about, you've got to follow Telegram and all of it and all the bits you to the rumbles and all that, it will take you down. Yeah. you just got to think, all right, I'm aware. Yeah. And to be honest, that's also... Wake up, you, wake up who's prepared to listen. Yeah. I mean, the other day I told um, Adam Jonah. Yeah. I said, tell what's going on. She's had two. I said, she's having, she's having no more. I said, you do know this ain't great. So I sent her a few bits of video. Instead of the usual plonkers on Facebook, I said, you must have had them. They get, you sent him a video, five minutes later, reply. Yeah, yeah. You got them. Yeah. They get on Google straight away and Google that person's yeah. name. I'm Adam, I just saw you're a waste of time. Yeah. Go away. She actually watched it and said, that's true what you're saying because being the job she is she contacts a flower seller yeah and the flower said the amount of people who are no longer with us quite suddenly yeah he's just gone through the roof i don't think they like it flower so arrangers have suddenly got that's quite it. busy so i got through. so i said that's it all you have to you don't have to be the brains of britain the doctor the apologist or whatever just to join a few dots yeah and go that 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 and that okay so where the contact where what what was on yeah the, you know, yeah from the dots yeah see you that's right. why just look at it there yeah oh yeah like you do with right the weather thank you very much everybody for watching hey two seconds uh and we'll i'll buy an mgf you're I'll a star you. mate you're a star mr jeff i'll have an mgf off you soon Always keep me contact. posted right Absolutely. cheers everybody